Zoho invoice tutorial. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video I'll be showing you guys how you can use Zoho. So what exactly is Zoho invoicing? Well we all have heard of Zoho which is a multi-use tool. Zoho includes Zoho books, Zoho inventory, billing, expense, commerce, creator, and they have several other products as well. So you can use Zoho for many different things. However, today we're going to be focusing on one particular thing, which is Zoho invoice. So invoicing is a major part of any business and you can create free tax invoices for your business using Zoho. Zoho is the ultimate software that can help you in creating templates, sending them to customers and accepting online payments. And the best part is, is that it's completely free and it's available and compatible with all types of devices. You can create, send, and receive your invoices and payments. So let's get started. Now, Zoho invoicing is not just limited to invoices. They have other features like expense trackers, customer portals, quotations, time tracking, reporting, payment reminders, and more. So simply head on over to zoho.com slash invoice. The first step is going to be to create your Zoho account. So if you don't have one already, you're going to have to sign up using your email. Then click on access Zoho invoice to get started with invoicing using Zoho. So once you have created your account and you have signed up via your email address, you will be able to proceed on to the next step, which is going to be to set up your organization. So let's say my organization is called Midge Maisel. And after that, we're going to add our industry. Let's say it's retail. And after that, we have our organization location and then the state and province. After that, you're going to add the currency that you are going to be using, as well as the language, time, and how you're managing invoicing. Then you're going to click on get started over here once you've completed all of this basic onboarding information. And once you click on get started, this will now build your account on Zoho invoice. So now we're going to be logged on directly into the home page for our application. This is what your home page is going to look like. Now within Zoho invoicing, you have a getting started tab, which allows you to explore all features. Then on the left, you have several different tabs in your menu bar, including customers, items, coats, invoices, sales receipts, payments received, expenses, time tracking, reports, advanced billing, and configuring your feature list. If you click on configure feature list, you can add or remove certain features. So if you want to add quotations, timesheets, sales receipts, you can keep all of them on. But if you want to remove something, you can also remove that. Now going into our getting started tab, you will see that you can pick a template that suits your business the most. So we have the standard template, the spreadsheet, we also have compact and we also have the continental template. Now I'm going to go with the standard template and I'm going to upload a organization logo because obviously for your particular organization, you will be adding a logo. So I'm just adding a logo over here. Then we have our invoice colors. So the background label and the font colors. You can customize all of these and if you want to customize these later on you can do that as well simply by going into settings and then altering your templates we're gonna click on save and proceed and once you do that you have two options for payment acceptance you can either receive cash payments or if you want to integrate online payment gateways you can configure those these include stripe paytable paypal authorize.net and these are different ways that you can get paid directly online whenever you're sending out invoices I'm going to proceed with cash for now. Then we have some other modules that we can enable, such as recurring invoicing, payment links, debit notes, and credit notes. And then just click on start invoicing. And just like that, we can proceed with exploring Zoho invoice. Now in our home tab, we will find a dashboard where we have our total receivables and a basic summary of our sales, receipts, and expenses. If you scroll down, you can add project expenses and you will have all of your sales data. Then you have a getting started tab, your announcement tab, and any recent updates. So from here, I want to go into items on the left and then click on new to add my first item. Let's say this is going to be our seven star ring. 
and let's say this comes in pieces and the selling price of each piece is seven dollars and i can select a tax if i want but i'm not going to i'm just going to save the item once i do that i can go into customers i can add my customers if i already have a customer list i can import those as well i can import using zoho crm google workspace or microsoft 365. so i'm going to click on new over here and i'm going to add the primary contact let's say we have miss lily davis and i'm just going to add the name miss lily davis and i'm just going to save one contact like so and you will find whenever you add a contact you will have a contact overview which includes all their basic details then you can add comments then you can go into the transaction section to monitor any transactions you've had with this particular customer then you have mails and then you have statements now from here i'm going to go into invoices on the left and we're going to be creating our first invoice so once we click on invoices we can click on new invoice and i want to build an invoice for this particular customer so i can just click on the customer tab and a drop down will appear in this drop down you can select any of your pre-existing customers or you can create a new customer as well from there you're going to add the invoice number and the invoice date now once you've added this basic information you can add when this invoice is going to be due so let's say this invoice is going to be due at the start of the next month then we have the item details so we can click on add new items and i'm just going to select one of our default items and then we have the rate which is the price any taxes and the amount but i want to alter the quantity so let's say they purchased 300 of these like so now below that i can add more rows and i can add items in bulk as well and if you click on this you can add new headers so if a person is purchasing both services and products you can divide them as well once you do that you can add a customer note add any terms and conditions you have and add any payment gateways you can see the total summary and you can add any discount whether it's a dollar amount or a percentage based discount you can add that over here and you can add any shipping charges as well after that if you want you can click on set up payment gateway and you can add stripe pay tabs paypal authorize.net Verifone, braintree and csg for it now all of these payment methods allow you to have multiple different options for both you and your uh, invoice C. Usually Stripe is the preferred one, but PayPal is something that is globally accepted, so it's really easy to use. I'm going to mark this as a paid invoice, and I'm just going to click on save. And just like that, the invoice has been created. It has been marked as paid. This is what it looks like. It's a professional invoice that can help you in ensuring everything stays on track. Now, if you want, you can also build quotations from the left and you can also build sales receipts. So if you want to create sales receipts and send them to your customers as proof of payment, you're going to click on new sales receipt and you can type in the customer's name like so and then we're going to add the salesperson we can add as many salespeople as we want and then we can choose the items that they have purchased and we can send them out the sales receipt that you have you know received their payment below that you also have the ability to build payment links so payment links can just help you in receiving payment instantaneously if you've set up online payment now all of these amazing features are available for free but if you want you can see that Zoho is ideal with the basic setup and if you want to access some of the other tools on Zoho you can get a package for Zoho and Zoho Suite which allows you to integrate many other powerful tools all together. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe.